All right, Salawam. First off, I'm to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'asim, Rakai Kudas. We're going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sid Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing game, person, work, and truth and necessity. When going this lesson, okay, and this is a beautiful lesson, okay, the title of this video that I'm about to play is called UFOs Are Here. That's why they want us to stay inside. Hashtag coronavirus. Okay. Let me play it. This is why they want us to stay in the house. This is why the fuck they want us to stay in the fucking house, nigga. It ain't the coronavirus, nigga. It ain't the radiation, nigga. It's this. What the fuck is this? What is this? What is that? What is this? Hold on. What is this? What is, what is this? What is that? What is this? What is this in the sky right now? What's going on? Them not they not airplanes. They doing formations and shit. Like what's going on for real? For real? Somebody please explain to me. What the fuck? This is why they want. I said they're doing formations. Okay. Now, those of us that are in the know, okay, those so-called UFOs, they're the chariots, okay, of the Most High, okay, and the angels, you know, they. Right around end them, okay. Um, let me see. Uh, but the world knows them as UFOs, okay. Which are you know the word UFO means un unidentified flying boot, unidentified flying object, okay. Which is an IFO, identifiable flying object, okay. Now. Romans 13 and 11, it says, and that knowing the time, that is the times that we're in right now, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we when we believed. Okay, now, what is the salvation? When Yahweh Shah, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, returns. Okay. And, um, you know, he delivers his elect. Those UFOs, so-called UFOs, they're going to come and they're going to beam up the men of the Lord. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Look at look at my, my, my lock screen, man. Okay? The so-called UFO, man. Okay, beaming up somebody. That's just the spirit, man. Okay? But, um, Acts 1... And uh, I'm going to start at uh, 9. And it's the couple verses up. It's talking about, you know, Yahweh Shah. Okay. You know what? Start at 6. It says, When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because that's what we're looking for. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans coming back into power. Okay. Under Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shah, okay, and it says, and he said unto them, "It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in His power, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and and Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth." And that's talking about right now, right here. And Babylon the Great, which is known as America. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. What did he go into? He went into a so-called UFO, which is a chariot. Okay? And it says, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same, it says Jesus, but his name is Yahweh Shah. This same Yahweh Shah, which is taken up from you into heaven, so shall come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Okay, so he's going to come back the same way that you've seen him go. Okay, in those chariots. Okay, let me see. Uh, 
Isaiah 31 and 5. It says, as birds flying, it says, as birds flying, um, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Okay, and Jerusalem is talking about, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the nation of Israel. Okay, which Jerusalem is in the Hebrew is uh, Jerusalem, okay, which is a uh, city of peace, okay? And we're the, we're the real city of peace, man, okay? It says, defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. Okay, so, you know, he said that they're going in for formations, okay, and it says just like birds are flying, that's how the Lord is going to come, okay, um, and he's going to catch a lot of people off guard, man, okay, a lot of people, First John 3 and uh, 2, it says, beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when we when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Okay. Another scripture comes to mind. Okay, it is the wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Okay, and it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of him, of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors. When they, see, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. And they repenting and groaning. And, hey, that's the point right there. So far beyond all that they looked for. Okay. So that salvation that's going to come is going to be beyond what people imagine. Okay. Beyond their wildest imaginations. Okay. It says, and they... um. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit. So say with in themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Okay. Some Edomites are gonna see that. Okay. They're gonna they're gonna think, you know, we you know, niggas and stuff like that. It says, We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of God? And his lot is among the saints. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not signed unto us. And the son of righteousness rose not upon us. Okay. Let me see. Oh yeah, um, scripture just came to mind. Okay, uh, First Thessalonians four and fifteen. It says, um, no sixteen. It says, for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and trust, trust and believe that this is going to happen. Okay, Yahweh's side is going to return. Okay, and it says. With the and with the trump of God, and the dead and Yahweh shall rise first. Okay, those that died in the truth, they're gonna rise first or die in the truth. Okay, it says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, man. You know. That's that salvation. The same way when you know, the children of Israel got delivered out of Egypt and they saw, you know, Moses, you know, split the Red Sea and was delivered. You got to know that those that and the water was dry. The scriptures talk about that. The, the land was dry when they walked over that uh, over the, the um, ocean. I mean, under, you know, through the Red Sea. OK. And. <laughs> you know, 
hey man, it would be a lovely, which we, we are able to see these, uh, you know, like the, the, the sightings and stuff like that. You know, we're able to see those things, you know. But those people back then, they were able to see it for their, for their, with their own two eyes, and they still rebelled, you know. Whereas though we're looking for that, and, and that's what we hope and pray for, you know, to meet the Lord in the air, okay. And it says, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, wherefore comfort one another with these words, okay. Let me see. Luke 21 and 28. Okay, let me get that. Luke 21, verse 28. And it says, um, you know what? I'm going to jump up a couple of verses. 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. Okay, we just had a pink moon, right? It says, and in the stars, right, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Okay. And right now you have a lot of that distress of nations. Okay. With perplex perplexity. Okay. Get this word perplexity. The state of one who is in perplexity. Okay. I like to get the etymology of words. Okay, it says bewilderment. Okay, completely entangled. Okay. So a lot of these places are entangled with, you know, the coronavirus, okay, and, and dealing with the the fact that um what is they saying the uh uh the the economy, okay. It says men's hearts failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Okay. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay. In, the, <laughs> in this video, you've seen that man. You know, he was, you know, kind of sick. And, you know, <laughs> they even said that in the comment section, you know. Um. They said that in the comment section about, you know, you need to calm down, you know. Can you say panic attack, cool down, dude? If they want you, huddling in a house won't save you and stop yelling. <laughs> so, really, really, it's people like him that causes the panic fucking idiot, is what he said. Okay. And guess what? It's going to be a power shift, man. Okay, a major power shift. <laughs> the Israelites are about to rule the, the world, man. Okay, and righteousness. Okay, under Yahweh, Basim, Yahweh Shah. Okay, it says, um, And they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begun, begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redre re redemption draws nigh. Okay, before I go into some precepts on that, the word redemption, a re releasing affected by payment of ransom. Okay, deliverance. Okay, we're going to be delivered, Lord willing, if we have the elect. It says Christian salvation, but that's to say Israelite salvation. Okay. We be saved out of here, man. Okay. When that time comes, man, that's what we what we're looking for, okay. You know, and 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 the blessings you know that come from that, man. You know, you know, never dying, okay, and enjoying life as we're supposed to, okay. 
So with that, man, you know, the scriptures talk about that, okay? And also those chariots, okay? They're going to they're gonna also come and um, destroy also. They're going to come and destroy a lot of stuff, okay? I know Isaiah 60... Six is a good one, okay? Just look look up the word chariot, okay? Do a quick research. But right here, Isaiah 66 and 15, it says, uh, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fly, fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, a lot of people are going to die. Okay, thermonuclear missiles. Okay. That's what's going to happen. So, yeah, man. You know, we this is a a wonderful sign if you're in the know okay of the uh the scriptures man okay this is a, this is a wonderful um sight to see man okay and if you could you know if you could see um sometimes man when you out you know sometimes they be they be playing around man you know at night you know, giving giving signs that, uh, you know that <laughs> the the men of the Lord about to about to be delivered, man. You know. So, you know, pretty much, man. You know, the the scriptures refer to them as uh, chariots. Okay, let me matter of fact. Okay, um, being as though I said that, it was that Isaiah 66 and 15, uh, let me get the word chariot, okay, what is it, Ma, Maka, Marakaba? This is just says uh, chariot. It just says chariot right there. Let's see if this one is different. Well, pretty much, man, that's the point, man. You know, those so-called UFOs are the vehicles that's going to be a major tool for the deliverance of uh, Israel, okay? So with that, you know, Lord willing, you know, this was edifying, okay? I want to say a uh, solemn warm till next time.